How's it going guys? It's Kevin from Subi Speed. I'm hoping everyone is staying healthy and safe out there during these crazy times. We're going to be moving forward with the install of the airlift performance suspension on our SCI. I'm actually going to break this into two parts. The first part today, we are going to get the uh, suspension components ready to go and install on the car and then route the airlines. The second part, we'll be getting the trunk set up ready, uh, everything wired up and finished off. And then we can film the last part, which will be the showcase. So with that being said, I also want to let you guys know that Airlift Performance actually extended their sale uh, through the month of April. So if you have been wanting to get a set of Airlift Performance suspension, now is the time to do so to save yourself 15% off with no code necessary. Just head on over to our website. Jumping right into the install, obviously we need to get the car up in the air, wheels off. We're working on the front driver's side here. Go ahead and unclip the ABS line and unbolt the brake line from the strut. Now we need to remove the two lower strut mount bolts. The two lower strut mount bolts removed, we can move up top here and remove the three nuts that are holding the top mount in place. Now if you're doing this by yourself, I usually remove the back two nuts and loosen this one and then reach in with one arm into the wheel well to support the strut and unscrew the nut from up top with your other hand and that way you can remove the strut without any assistance. With the struts uninstalled, now we can start putting together the components to the airlift kit. Take the front struts, take your stainless steel braided airlines and install the fitting on one end and then install the other end into the strut itself. Just need to hand tighten these and then take a wrench and give them another one and three quarters turn to get them in there. And once you've done that, we can get this installed and bolted onto the car. Got the fronts installed. I'm gonna get everything torqued down. I will leave torque specs down in the description. They're also available in the installation manual that comes with these. We're gonna to move to the back now and get those installed, and then we can start routing the airlines. In the rear, we've got three bolts to remove. We've got the lower strut mount, end link, and the control arm to the subframe. Also, if you happen to have a model that has auto leveling headlights, you will have one of these on the driver's side. So remember to take this off. Otherwise, when we go to pull this control arm down, you're gonna damage the linkage. pull the lower control arm down and then we'll go up top and get this off. Inside the trunk I've removed basically everything to give us more room to work with. It's really easy to do. There's just some retaining clips that you can remove with a flathead screwdriver. We're going to need to do this anyway to route the lines. If you look over here there's two nuts that are holding in the rear strut. If you again are doing this by yourself you can just remove the rearmost one, unscrew the other one a little bit and then you should be able to open up the rear door and have one hand on the strut and loosen the other nut off and then pull the strut out. With the old suspension out, we can slide in the new airlift suspension. Now we can go underneath the car and get the lower control arm back into place. For 
both the front and the rear, chances are you're gonna need to put a jack underneath the lower control arm to lift it up a bit to get the holes aligned so you can get the bolts back in. Once all those bolts and nuts are reinstalled, you can go ahead and torque those down. Again, I will leave the torque specs down in the description and we can move ahead to routing the airline. I just finished up routing the airline for the driver's side. Main goal is to get everything to your trunk. You can do that either through the interior, which requires a little bit more work, or you can do what most people do and what I've been doing, which is going underneath the car. Now, I uh, went to the local hardware store to pick up a couple things like some stainless steel self-tapping screws and some U-clamps to help secure and guide the airline, as well as a pack of zip ties to help tidy everything up. If we take a look inside the trunk, you will see the two grommets that I use as entry points to get the airline from the bottom of the car into the trunk. For the front of the car, you can see that I have the braided airline secured with those U-clamps in the wheel well. I'm gone behind the brake line here and then followed the crease in the wheel well down to this point here. From here, we're gonna go straight back. As you can see on this side of the car, I have the two panel covers off, but you are gonna reinstall those. I will show you a shot of the passenger side where I have those reinstalled. I also drilled some holes through that cover to feed the hose through and had to cut a small section in the rear off to make sure it wasn't pinching. You also see that I have guides on the little plastic grommets that are underneath the car to help secure the airline and lead it all the way back. Once we get to the gas tank here, I have the line zip tied to the e-brake leading back. Then we're gonna go all the way up and back behind all the suspension components to that grommet. The rear is simple enough since it's really close to the grommet. I've just got a little slack here and then I have it zip tied just above the sway bar mount up here, and then it goes up towards that grommet. That pretty much covers it for the install of the struts and the routing of the airlines. The main thing is just making sure that there's no kinks in the airline. So uh, the minimum bend radius on those is one inch, I believe, and make sure they're not rubbing on anything that's sharp that may cut through them, or they're not too close to a heat source that could potentially melt them. Now, like I said earlier, these are currently on sale, 15% off through the end of the month. So if you have been looking to bag your car, now is the perfect time to do so, especially since most of us are stuck at home home and have nothing else to do, then you could just stay in your garage and enjoy time with your car. Um, what else? Oh, also, I want to let you guys know that we are doing weekly giveaways now just to kind of give back as much as we can, especially during these hard times to give you guys something to do. You're not going to need to do anything special. It's just going to be simple stuff like liking the post, tagging a friend, liking our page or following us. Uh, you don't need order numbers or anything like that. We're just doing what we can to try and spread as much uh, joy as possible during these down times. And with that being said, hopefully I'm able to get part two of this install out to you guys as soon as possible. I'm excited to see this car aired out. I'm hoping you guys are as well. Uh, stay safe, practice your social distancing, and I will see you guys next time.